Hey guys, welcome to Jazz Tutorials. Today's tutorial is going to be pretty awesome. Are you ready for this? Okay, we're going to make a typography photo. Doesn't sound like it's going to make sense right now because it probably won't because you're going to be like confused as shit like you always are. Just saying. Okay, so I've opened a photo now of this girl. That's right, guys and dolls. It's pink. What of it? Yeah. All right, now. When you open your photo, it has to have a white background, as does this photo. And um, you'll see why at the end, why it needs to be. If you're using a colored photo, believe me, it won't really work as well. And again, you'll see why. So, now you see that I have a hidden white layer. Don't get, don't get alarmed. I'll explain to you that towards the end. You'll get it in a second. All right, now. Just as I said in the past, um, when working with photos, you should always duplicate your background layer. In case you make a mistake, you can always go back and fix it. It's a lot easier than going edit, step backwards, edit, step backwards, because that could take you forever and a day. Trust me. Been there, done that. And conquered it. Okay, so we're going to now just do a control J, command J, and copy the background. We're going to hide the background because we don't really need it right now. Hopefully we'll not need it, but you never know. Okay, we're going to now decorate this photo. That's control shift U in case you're curious. Or, if you want to be a cool kid, it's an image adjustments, but I think control shift U is much easier than doing all that. Okay? Alright, now, we're going to also be cool kids, and we're going to add a mask layer. I'm going to go to layer, I'm going to click on layer mask, and reveal all. Alright, you should have a white square box like such. If not, well then you do not clearly click reveal all. You click something totally different. <laughs> okay. Now, we need to make this image into the mask layer box. How do you do that? Well, I'm going to show you how you do that. You click over here on channels. Channels just shows you all of your colors that you've been using throughout your image, but we only have black and white, so I don't even know why that's all there. Anywho's, go to the bottom and you'll see selected as your background copy mask. It is hidden, but you need to make that visible. So. Do that, and then go back into your layers, and you are going to click on your thumbnail, and you're now going to do a control A, and a control C. You're going to copy that image, and then you're going to paste it into your channels. What the heck? Why is it? Oh, that's why I have Okay. So yeah, with it visible, you're now going to paste it in there. So control V, and boom! You're going to get that. It's going to look a little red, but that's good. You're good to go. Alright, now go back to your layers and click on the thumbnail of that, not the mask, the thumbnail. You're going to deselect that now because you're good to go. In the thumbnail, you're now going to turn that white. So, control backspace or alt backspace, whatever is good to go. And you should be getting that. So that, that's, what happened, that's what it should look like with your thumbnail with a white background. Alrighties, you're good to go there. Alright, so now we're going to work with this hidden layer, which we're going to use for our text. So I've created over here a just a plain white background on a new layer. It's pretty simple, you don't really have to do much. So just make a white background layer, you're good to go. Then you're going to drag this background layer all the way to the back at the bottom, right there. Okay, then go over here to your text, and we're now going to add the text to this now. You want to make sure you select the whole entire canvas like such, as you can see. Alright? Okay. Now, I'm going to show you the settings you need to have for your text so it comes out perfectly fine. Click on your character, which is over here. And in your settings, you want to use Tahoma is the text, font, bold, and then the point, we're going to use 12, 12 uh, point for the text size. Okay, and this over here, your, your leading should be auto, nothing should be changed there unless you've done something in a previous thing, but I don't. But anyway, and then all of this should be at zero here. Um, that should be 100%, that should be 68% over there. Your color needs to be black, by the way, in case you're curious. Black's our color of choice today. And this over here, your baseline needs to be negative 10 point. And you're going to click on here italics italicized or italic and then underline okay so you see all those over there make sure that's in your settings and I'll also make sure up here you select smooth because on nine, nine times I have ten y'all have none selected so make sure it says smooth 
Then what you're going to do is you're going to type your text or if you want to be a cool kid, you can go on the web and uh, find some lyrics or something, copy and paste those into here as well. That would be perfectly fine as long as you have your settings here in your copy and pasted text. But for me, I'm going to paste in some text I had typed earlier. Um, uh, and if you're typing in your text, by the way, you're going to want to copy it and paste it like over a hundred so times or whatever. Whatever suits the needs of your photo. And you'll see why in a second. So I already have it uh, here. So boom. Oh my gosh. That's what we just created. So that's the easy way out. Um, I'm going to just go back and show you what I'm doing. So now, if you're going to want to do it your, the hard way, uh, just type your text. Um, and then you'll go and do Control E, um, Control C, copy, Control V, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, until you see your whole image like selected like I did before. So I just have a whole thing already done. So Control V and boom, there's my image. It looks good to go. All right, once you have your whole image shown like I do here, now you can click on the check mark up here because you're good to go. And there you have it. That's the tutorial. It does not get any more simpler than that. Now, if you feel that your text is too like light and you want to really make it bright and obnoxious and bring it out more, just do a Control J and bring it out and boom, there you go. It pops out a little bit more. So that's our typography tutorial. I hope that was simple enough for you and really awesome for you. If it wasn't awesome enough, I'm sorry. I thought it was awesome, but maybe you didn't. I don't know. Everyone's got their own valued opinion, so whatevs. Um, if you have any questions or comments or whatnot, leave a comment below. Um, if you were confused about anything in this tutorial, leave a comment, as always. Um, and if you want to share what you made, leave a video response. Um, or if you want to make some suggestions, leave me a message in my inbox and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. But, uh, just so you know, I always take requests, but I do have a line of requests waiting already, so if I don't get to you first, well, just know there's people behind you or in front of you and whatnot, so I'll, yeah. I'm going to shut up now and so show you the finished product. So, have a great week, y'all, and I'll see you next week. Bye.